Remember when The Daily Show was funny? We came out of the White House not only dead broke, but in debt. I, um, I still get emotional just thinking about it. <laughs> don't hold it against me that I, don't own, that I don't own a single stock or bond. Don't hold it against me, but I in the bucket outside. <laughs> What's with the poverty Tourette's? Why do these two seem to think we need a hobo for president? <laughs> so we told you last week that Jon Stewart is returning uh, to The Daily Show. After almost a decade without doing The Daily Show, he was actually there pre-Trump. But not everyone thinks this is a good idea. Time Magazine saying this, Jon Stewart's Daily Show return is a bad omen for late night. The Atlantic writing The Daily Show is better than this. Jon Stewart, no longer the man for the job. My next guest knows a little thing about comedy. He's author of That Joke Isn't Funny Anymore, On the Death and Rebirth of Comedy. Comedian, podcast host Lou Perez joins us now. Lou, great to see you. Nice to see you. So what do you think Jon Stewart coming back? Is it a different landscape that he left? Oh, I think it's a totally different uh, landscape. And, you know, and I, I, we kind of have to remind people, too, it's not like... John Stewart hasn't been around. He did have a show called yes. The Problem with John Stewart, and the big problem with it is that it couldn't get any ratings on Apple Plus, so it went away. So I think for a lot of people, it's kind of like a nostalgia trip, like, great, you know, the man's coming back. Maybe he's going to save the world. But we are just so beyond where The Daily Show was. I mean, for nine years, the the amount of competition has just grown just incredibly. Like, you have podcasters, you have people on YouTube, you have social media. And, I mean, frankly, I don't, I don't really think that there are any opinions Jon Stewart holds that I haven't heard over the past nine years. And all the late China shows are all anti-Trump shows. And I'm very curious to see, because he is the smartest guy out there, I really believe that, if he is going to say, I'm going to be equal opportunity offender. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, one of the things that, that Jon Stewart did is he bred a lot of derivative Jon Stewarts that have basically been, you know, taking his, uh, his gospel and spreading it out to the world for the past nine years. And... I mean, ultimately, we all know what the punchlines uh, are. So uh, Lou's a, Lou is really a Swiss Army knife. He's an actor. He's a comedian. He puts together skits, great writer, and a stand-up. Excellent. You did this great job. I love what you do with the Trump situation. You're not saying you're a Trump supporter, but you, like many of us out there, are amazed at how people misinterpret what Trump is saying. And they don't know if it's legitimate or not. So you put together a skit. Do you want to build it up? Yeah. It's uh, called Stop Making Me Defend Donald Trump. Let's watch. So China just approved for Xi to be president for life. And Trump says, maybe we have to give that a shot someday. If you listen to the audio, everybody's laughing. They're clearly in on the joke. I cannot believe I work with a Trump supporter. I voted for Hillary. Trump isn't shutting down Meals on Wheels. Only 3% of their budget comes from the federal program. Donald Trump banned an entire religion. Yeah, it's the Muslim ban, so I guess Trump is banning all Muslims from coming here. And he's probably going to kick out the ones that are already here. Actually, it's not a ban against all Muslims. The travel ban is against seven Muslim-majority countries. Why the f*** are you defending Trump? I'm not defending him. You guys are just misrepresenting him. <laughs> I just love it because it's very easy to go on either side. You're in the middle. You're just trying to tell it, be real, real realistic. Yeah, and, and that one really hit for a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, hit me up and said, look, man, that's my world. Like, I'm an independent. I don't like the guy. But every time I hear somebody, you know, making some, something up about him, I feel like I need to go and defend him. And I hate being put in that position. And you're a libertarian. Yeah. All right. Great to see you. Congratulations on all your success. I hope you'll come back. Definitely. Thanks. All right, man. Great to see you.